open the spam folder in your email account and you're likely to find all kinds of messy missives offering low-cost drugs, replica watches, and millions in winnings from that lottery you didn't enter. Here's how email providers know you don't want these messages cluttering up your inbox. This is Algorithmics, the space where we explore how invisible, computer-controlled, data-based sets of rules are making decisions for us every day. Many spam blocking email filters consider several features of an incoming message, and they assign each email a score. Passing scores get to your inbox, and scores below a certain threshold are blocked altogether or bounce to the spam folder. One popular method is Bayesian filtering, one of the earliest and most complex ways of blocking spam. Named for British mathematician Thomas Bayes, this method correlates some identifiers, like certain words or phrases, with spam messages and other identifiers with legitimate emails. Then, it calculates the probability that a given incoming email is spam. Bayesian filters look at all parts of an incoming email, not just the individual words in the subject line and the body copy, but also phrases, email headers, metadata, and other technical information to take the entire content of the email into account. The filter gets better over time. You know just from looking at it that an image-filled email from a strange sender hawking a replica watch is spam, but the filter needs to learn that. As it reviews more emails and as human users manually mark certain types of emails as junk, the filter builds up a repository of likely indicators of spam to make better predictions in the future. That's why you might see a spammer include the number one instead of an I in the word Viagra. It's an attempt to trick unsophisticated spam filtering. It's also why you might see weird chunks of text copied from books at the bottom of a spam email. The spammers are stuffing the email with words that are usually in legitimate email in hopes of sneaking the message past the filter. No spam filtering technique is perfect, and there's always a balancing act with how much to block. Generally, people would rather have a spam email or two erroneously land in their inbox versus having a legitimate email called ham, get it? land in the spam folder and potentially get lost, all due to an overzealous algorithm. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.